God who picked a nobody without the permission of anybody and made him somebody before everybody. I speak to the destiny of everyone, either here physically or watching online. The last half of this year, the remaining six months of this year, some testimony that no one has shared in your lineage, the mercy of Jehovah will bring it to you. You will see the mercy of God. What takes other three years to get? Paper that take them years to get. This 2024, mercy bring them your way. If your amen is very loud, the month of July you are having testimony. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Please have me greet the four people say you will see mercy of God. You will see mercy of God. You will see mercy of God. Glory to Jesus. You will see mercy of God. Now you can please have your seat. Glory to the name of the Lord. Please have your seat. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Now the message I'm bringing this morning, uh, because of our time, we are going to be brief because every head shall carry the oil. And the oil is the oil for rejoicing. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Celebration coming. You shall be celebrated. Now, asking God and the Spirit what message for the Sunday. Friday was a deliverance from foundational inheritance. And maybe you were not here on Friday. The Lord has asked me to pray for those who are not here on Friday. Before the service is over, I will pray for you. Whatever is wrong in your foundation, every faulty crack foundation that you inherited without knowing, you are paying for what you did not buy. You are fighting the battle you did not start. This morning, the Lord will set that foundation. Amen. And it told me a story how the children of Israel were liberated. It was like Friday. They got their deliverance in the hand of Pharaoh and they got to the Red Sea. They were rejoicing, they were celebrating. All of a sudden, the Red Sea said to them, I'm here to swallow your freedom. I'm here to take you back to the land of Egypt where you left. And Pharaoh was still coming behind them. There was no room to the right, to the left. Red Sea was in the front. It was a block destiny. And the people began to complain, just as many of us complain at every little thing. They began to say to Moses, the man of God, it's better we return back to our captivity. It's better we return and keep on suffering. Let's keep on managing it. And Moses said to them, with a voice that was more than conqueror, he said, keep quiet and see the salvation of Jehovah that he will show you when. Amen. When? He said, today. And he said, the Egyptian whom you have seen before, you won't see them no more. I prophesy upon the life of several people. The problem that you have seen before that follow you to June will not follow you to July. Amen. And what to record, so God told Moses what to do. He did it and the rest him parted it to two. They walk on that dry ground and they move to the other side. And all their enemies, the pursuer, mumusiously, they still follow them on the same road, on the same path. By the time they cross to the other side, the sea covered up and all the pursuers drone and perish in the red sea. I pray for one brother, one sister here. Anyone that says you will not know peace, you, you, you are here in another land. They are still pursuing you. They are still attacking you. They are taking your name from one place to the other. They are placing your picture before the evil altar. They are calling you by midnight. Whoever is the pursuer, they shall perish in the ocean. the other side, that chapter 14. In chapter 15, that's where we are going this morning very briefly. The Bible said Moses, the man of God, began to sing. And then Miriam, his sister, gathered the women together. They began to blow and shake the tambourine and they began to rejoice. They began to celebrate because of the freedom they got on Friday. They began to rejoice. And we never read it that Moses, I mean, that Pharaoh appear to pursue them again by the power of that rejoicing. And that's my message privilege this morning. Rejoice. Yeah. 
So look at three people, tell them rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Philippians 4, verse 4, the Bible says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. In Psalm 5, verse 11. Psalm 5, verse 11. God's word said, But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Are you here this morning? Is your trust in God? Yes, I can't hear your response. Yes, then God is telling you, let all those, not everybody, but those who have trust in Jehovah, those who are expecting something from Jehovah, those who believe that God cannot fail them, let them return. He said, let them ever shout for joy. Amen. Because thou defended them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in the Lord. Do I have a lover of God in the house? The Lord say rejoice. Have your neighbor by the side and say rejoice. In Psalm 68 verse 3, Psalm 68 verse 3, media the very fast. Pastor, I so much love all the department in this church. One of these days, if I can't buy the ticket for you to come to Nigeria, then I will ask your choir to provide the song or produce a song and send it to us soft copy so that we can play it in one of our provincial programs. The media is very, very powerful. The instrumental, if I have my way, I write this young man on the keyboard and uh, accumulate two of them to just lead on to places. This is good, this is good. When, when you lift up Jesus, he draw men to himself. Until Jesus is lifted, nothing changes. Not prayer, not fasting. But we are praying, is activated. Rising up is in the vegetable. I prophesy upon your life. This new man, you will see glory. Let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Psalm 61, verse 3. All of us will read that one. We'll read it like a mass choir. Psalm 61, verse 3. 3. Okay, you are not there yet. 61. 61. Oh, I beg your pardon. Isaiah 61 verse 3, not Psalm 61. Isaiah 61 verse 3, talking about this anointing that is coming upon us today. Anointing for rejoicing. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 3, God bless you. Are we ready to read? Yes. 3, 4, go. Can we read, everybody? To a point. To a point. To
My ox rusted it in. And I am egg. You will be egg. You will get divine head. I don't know where you are seated or standing. I have this lady to prophesy to your life. This coming month of July, your destiny helpers will locate you. Weakness increases. 
Why must I rejoice? Number four, rejoicing is a killer of dryness. Yes. Rejoicing is a killer of dryness. Joel 1 verse 12. I like this verse very well. Give us, everybody, look at it. Do you want dryness to die in your finance, in your marriage, in your body? Yes. The secret, the cause is rejoicing. Be joyful. Verse 12 of Joel 1. Are we there? Okay, look at it. Say, the vine is dried up. And the fig tree like you said. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also. And the apple tree, even all the tree of the feet are with a book well, but everything with that. Nothing is working. Why? Look at the answer. Because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Apple tree, pomegranate, everything with that. Everything dry. Why? What is the cause? What did I do? I pay time. I give offering. What is happening? The Bible said, because joy is with that. So the withering of joy is the result you see in dryness in your life. Situation remains dry until joy is activated. Number five reasons. Rejoicing gives access to the revelation of God's word. Rejoicing gives access to the revelation of God's word. Isaiah 12 verse 3. Isaiah 12 3. Do you want God to reveal himself to you when you pick your Bible? Yes, then in verse 3 of Isaiah, look at what the Bible says. Therefore, can we read it together? Therefore. Yes, uh -huh. yes, with what? With joy. Not with dollar, not with naira, not with pounds. With joy. You draw. You draw. Revelation, inspiration from the way of salvation. Without joy in your heart, scripture will be dull in your eyes. Without joy in your heart, scripture will be dull in your eyes. Number six, rejoicing provoke abundance. Psalm 67, 5 and 6. Psalm 67, 5 and 6. Rejoicing provoke abundance. Look at what the Bible said. Let the people praise him. Oh God, let all the people praise him. Then the earth will eat what? And he prays. And God, he won. Our whole God will bless all. You want abundance, keep rejoicing. Number seven, rejoicing is a weapon of victory. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Rejoicing is a weapon of victory. You see it in 4 Samuel 2, verse 1. 4 Samuel 2, verse 1. And I prayed and sang. My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is alive over my enemies because of what? Come on, really? Because of what? I rejoice. The same parent Adam. He said, I rejoice. But how? My mouth became larger over my enemy. Then she ended up becoming the mother of six children. The same Anna who could not give back to her. But by the power of rejoicing, she gave back to complete balanced children, male and female, all together, six in number. I prophesy upon your life. We are the upset to you, they don't need your service. After this meeting, they will send for you. Yeah. Okay, okay. You don't read seven of it. Let me read the remaining one. Thanks God. Rejoicing promotes answer to prayer. Write it down. Psalm 20 verse 5. Psalm 20 verse 5. It promotes answer to prayer. Number 9. Rejoicing unlock anointing. It unlocks anointing. Joel 2.21. Joel 2.21. Number 10. Finally. Long life and rejoicing go together. Longevity and rejoicing go together. Psalm 115 verse 17 and 18. Psalm 115 17 and 18. He said the dead praise not the Lord. Neither those who go down into the grave. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot be bitter and be better. You cannot be sorrowful and be successful. You cannot be sad and be hurt. It is joy that builds up. Until you rejoice, you cannot go far in life. The only thing you are not to rejoice in, don't rejoice in iniquity. First Corinthians 13 says, do not rejoice in sin, in iniquity. But keep rejoicing in the Lord. Keep blessing God. Don't let any situation close your mouth in praising God. When praise dries, the hinting of destiny will knock. No life can move forward when praise is dry. Praise is the hinging oil that lubricates the destiny engine. Right to your feet, right to your feet, right to your feet. Say rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Only God has the final say. Who is it that speaks and it comes to pass? When Jehovah has not come 
family, no divination, no extortion against them. Lift your voice and rejoice. Make it give it praise. testimony and some of all that are holding only did. A wedding well, took place in the southwest of Nigeria, one of her parishes. And when the husband and the wife, they had been joined and they went to the university to sign the marriage certificate. Then the husband heard somebody called his name from nowhere. Any voice calling you away from your place of glory, I silence the voice to Suddenly, the Zona pastor remember that that the GO has taught us when you pray and pray and you are not seeing answer, then turn from prayer to praise. And chapter sixteen, the Bible says at the midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang. Them. Then the man of God said, "We have prayed, God has answered. Now let's start to rejoice. Let's start celebrating. Let's start worshiping God." They joined their hands and the dead group was at the center. As the, you know, the Bible said. At midnight, Paul and Silas, they did what? They were praising God. They were singing. And when you read the story of Jehoshaphat, the Bible said, as they began to sing, God sent an ambushment against the enemy. And they began to give themselves. There is a level of joy you can carry. There is a level of rejoicing that those who hate you will give themselves. The witches will give themselves on your behalf. As they began to worship, priests. Enter the vessel from nowhere, landed on the dead man and the tackle, and he came back to life by the power of rejoicing, by the power of celebration. Are you here? You are trusting God for wife, for husband, for better job, for something, for freedom, for yourself or your children. Why can't you rejoice on behalf of your family? Why can't you celebrate? Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Go ahead and see God to God. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and sing out to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Raise your right hand and take this prayer point. I beg you, sir. I beg you, ma'am yourself to what is happening. This is spiritual. It's not ordinary way that is coming. You need impartation for you to make impact. Lift your voice with that right hand. Carry a military face on your face. Pray it from the time of John the Baptist even till now. The kingdom of God suffered violence. The violence taken it by force. Loud and very clear. Say powers! If you are not 
not born again, all you need to do is to say, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. You don't rejoice in iniquity. Wherever you see sin, you flee away. You can't be singing to him and still be living in sin. They don't go together. So I encourage you here this morning, keep rejoicing. Don't bow your head in sorrow. Faith does not weep. Faith does not accept defeat. Baba, in the house of blessed memory, said, Faith takes challenge. Yeah, no. Even when, in verse 7 30, nothing happened. Did they even try to kill him? But suddenly, he summoned courage and he prayed to God, Shall I pursue them? And God said, Now you are talking. We don't recognize people weeping them. What we recognize is the voice of rejoicing. Now that you have heard, God said, Now you can pursue them. You will meet them. You will overtake them. And you will recover. So rejoicing makes you to recover what you have lost. I profess out of 21 people here. As you enter July tomorrow, one by one, miracle meet you in your house. Anointing for continual rejoicing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The musician, the instrumental, the instrumental, the choir, to be giving us a kind of Davidic praise. This one, not to worship now. Praise that should come. If you don't dance very well, and I'm not seeing my spirit, that this is your dance is good, is good enough. I don't go anoint you. You have to dance and dance. Let Jehovah pick you out. Let Jehovah sing you out. Let Jehovah say, Abba, he, he or she can dance like this. When the miracle will happen, he will dance more. That is the defeated dance I want you to give us as people come. God bless you.